Good morning children. Last class I taught you stages of growing crops and three categories of crops. Today I am going to teach you categories of agricultural land and types of irrigation methods. We know that farmers grow agricultural land. Agricultural land. Agricultural land has been classified into two categories. They are private agricultural land and irrigated agricultural land. Farmers do agriculture according to the category of the land. First one, rainfed agricultural land. Agricultural land which falls under less rainfall area is called rainfed agricultural land. In rainfed agricultural land, farmers grow crops by using only rain. They won't use any other sources of water like ponds, canals, wells, etc. In rainfed agricultural land is also called kushki land or dry land. The crops which require less water and suitable to grow this land are grown in this type of agricultural land. Some millets and pulses are growing in rainfed agricultural land. Hence, irrigated agricultural land. We know that water is the important wealth for farmers. Cultivation of crops is impossible without water. Rain is the money source of water, but we won't get rain all the time. So, we can store water from many sources and we can utilize that water to the crops. So, that's why we are saying ponds, canals, wells and more wells are called sources of irrigation. See, apart from rain, water is supplied to the crops from farms, canals, wells and forests. And cultivating the land using water from any of these sources is called irrigated agriculture. Means in this type of land, farmers with, with the rain, they also use other type of uh, irrigation sources like ponds, canals, wells and forests. Uh, the sugar cane, paddy and cotton are called are uh, called irrigated crops. Why? Right? Because the sugarcane, paddy and cotton are suitable to grow in irrigated agricultural land. Uh, this is the irrigated agricultural land. Next, irrigation methods. Nowadays, farmers use some modern methods to provide water for the crops to avoid the wastage of water. That are drip irrigation and spray irrigation. First one, drip irrigation. In drip irrigation, water is supplied to the roots of the crops drop by drop. Drip irrigation, water is supplied to the roots of the crops drop by drop. This is called drip irrigation. Through drip irrigation method, farmers can avoid the wastage of water and they can with less water, they can grow more crops. By using drip irrigation method, we can grow grapes, banana, coconut, pomegranate, orange, etc. are suitable to grow in drip irrigation method. Next one, spray irrigation. Spray irrigation, water is sprayed over the crops uniformly as in rainfall. How the crops get in dry as uniformly all the way, the same way in drip irrigation, in spray irrigation, water sprayed all the way uniform. Uh, spray irrigation, coffee and tea plant, plantations are suitable to use spray irrigation. These are the methods of irrigation. 